This is the plus version, 11.4. And in this version, the invitation glitch has been fixed. As you can see, I got in with an invitation and persuaded my new best friend to get me through this area. Pick up the skill book. Now, the important thing, I'm going to hand walk you through how to min-max this. Before the Chang Brothers fight, you want Intelligence of 4 and Scholarship of 4. You cannot take Intelligence or Scholarship of 5. Um, that will screw things up with Beckett. This will activate two fetish items, and at any point you can read the computer book um, when you have Intelligence of 4 and Scholarship of 4. This gives you Research of 8, which is why the two fetish items are activated. The big thing here is that um, by doing this, you will, one, get a bonus XP in the Chang Brothers fight, and two, um, Beckett will give you fortitude if you have five scholarship. It, it's just some weird thing in the game. So here I'm showing you that um, at any point right now, when, when you do this, when you bump up research, you can read the computer book, and I have five computer. So easy enough. The other item that's activated is Wits 5. We picked up that item in the uh, Mitnick quest, and that is our last point of that we need in that. So this will give us plus one. This item that we pick up here will give us plus one when we fight the Chang brothers. So four points instead of three. You don't need to fight these guys. You can just run by them. Use Elder Packs. After this fight, Elder Packs become available, so just use your Elder, elder Packs. It's cheaper than using the Blue Blood Packs. And there you go, experience of four. The Tiger Claws are very valuable, even though we're not a melee character, they're very valuable. And you could have put two points into Protean, because we're gonna do it anyway, and used your Protean form. You could have used Fortitude, but I wanted to show you, you can easily kill these guys with just animalism. There's nothing to it. Um, you can get through the entire game with beetles, I'm telling you. Uh, you can kill Ming, Zhao with beetles, you can kill everybody with beetles. So. Very easy. Now we're going to keep the Tiger Claws. There's a VV quest where that's going to be very, very important. Okay, so before Beckett, we want Protean 4. We're going to get Protean 5 for free. Hmm, I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less. Clans have little to do with personality. You're thinking of cults. Still struggling with the protean discipline? Your own body reflects your understanding of the natural world. Beastly, maybe. A beast. 
That's up to you. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. So you want to talk to LaCroix and get some money. There's, if you have, if I didn't play scholarship, he'd give me $500, but I'm going to play scholarship now and he's going to give me an additional pop of 200. So it's $200 just to go ahead and do it now. If you have scholarship of five, he will give you fortitude and not protein. So if you're playing a playthrough and you don't want to have protein for some reason, then you can just play scholarship five and get the fifth point of fortitude instead. After Beckett, you play Scholarship 5, you get the extra money, we can read the last book, which is the Dodge book, and of course get extra cash from LaCroix. So I'm going to go ahead and read this, just because I can, and then talk to LaCroix. And the Dodge book is 12 XP. The last point of Scholarship is 12 XP. It's a wash. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? You'll find... There's 500. Here's the Point second made. one. If you don't play scholarship of five, you will not get the last pop of 200. So, Scott, so we now have Charisma of 8, which is very good. And Fortitude is more important than Strength, because we get a pile of Strength with Protein. So, yeah, and Animalism 5 is OP, but we don't need it until later. And, of course, we see this NPC and get the key of... Well, you can see it. I'm selling all the weapons. I don't need them now. I'm never going to read these um, melee books. Keep the tiger claws. Very important. Get some money here. Are starting to dry up. Yeah, I love his dialogue. We can now load up on elder packs. I go ahead and take everything to nine, just in case... West 5 um, adds a, a, you know, blood pack somewhere. Hey! What the hell you think you're doing? That's my locker, hooker! So, hooker! You want to kill this guy to get the XP. Huh! Oh yeah? I'm crazy! Come here, boy! Four XP. So now we're going to do all the bonus quests. We get 4 XP instead of 3 because we did this quest after the Giovanni. 4 XP. You are a model employee. And it says in the upper left hand corner, Ox is happy you killed um, the, the guy we just killed. We get a melee bonus of one, which is not bad. Because the Tiger Claws are a melee weapon. And we're just piling up XP. This is also a humanity. Now, the one thing I, I didn't do right, in my opinion, is I went to the junkyard too early with the persuasion I have now. I could have persuaded him to go to the last round. Okay, I, I showed you the guy in the alley. There are people added to the game by the plus patch. They do not refill. So be careful when you feed on those NPCs. Of course, this, I just want to uh, get the 4 XP and then get the rewards. And your efforts are well appreciated. Please accept this gift as payment for your accomplishment.
Yeah, very nice item. Uh, plus one to dexterity, not bad. I'm wearing heavy armor, so the real number for dexterity is four, not three. If you take the armor off, which increases your stealth. A gargoyle serving in the defense of Hollywood. I'd like to hope so. So we pick up well, one XP. Uh, betraying Strauss does not give you any additional XP. Just like the poster quest doesn't give you anything. If you take him through the um, his quest and you fight the hunters and kill them all, you get an additional $250. I'm going to have tons of cash, so I don't care. Just get this bonus quest out of the way. But, but I, I think killing all the hunters would be very easy um, with animalism. And now we have protein 5. Would not be challenging. Now I'm going to do VB's quest. I found that this NPC will come back, but if I feed on her, she will stay here happily the entire quest. I don't want her coming back. This is where we need the tiger claws. Yeah, Chastity does no damage, and the Tiger Claws do aggravated damage, which is the best damage in the game. Although I have a higher unarmed skill, um, the Tiger Claws do more damage than unarmed. I did not want to use Protean to fight Chastity. Fortitude was great. It, it made me invincible. And of course, this guy is easily taken out with bats. Very easy. Thank you, VV. Thirty-one XP. Don't need to spend it right now. So that's uh, over five hundred dollars from that quest between the watch and the postcard. Okay, I'm showing you. I put all the post request items in the mailbox. Go outside, and there's going to be no XP. And that axe is worth some money, so be sure and pick that up and sell it. When you come into this quest, be sure and look around. There's a, there's a lot to this area that's been created or rebuilt or something. It's really very interesting, all the detail in this library. It's always difficult for me to see the guy in here. Maybe it's my computer screen, but he's the same color as the background.
Yeah, West 5, could you give this guy a, like a red jacket or something? And there's an Uzi, so we want to sell the Uzi and the sword. There's no reason to have them. You could have used protein form here uh, to do more damage. I just wanted to kill him with animalism. Yeah, this area is actually, it looks great. It's just so hard to see the NPC because he's the same color as the background. Yeah, three hits with the Tiger's Claws. That's fine. So we go ahead and sell the broadsword. I'm going to keep the Tiger Claws for now. Sell the Uzi. Don't need it. Yeah, Tiger Claws do aggravated damage, so better than this. It's better than the uh, the sword that we just sold. Ah, yes, the Henge Yokai. Ogami Yukie Des, I return you to the hell. Guy is in hell. My revenge is complete. Domo Defy your nature, demon. Man can suffer without your help. And for XP. Don't forget the cash. Yeah, Beatles was just fine. I had fortitude up just because I could in case I got hit. Um, fortitude just makes you a tank.
and 43 XP. Today, I slit my wrist over a plastic salad bowl and spurted a few jets of the stuff until the bowl felt about right for two more bags. All just to fill your order. I hope you enjoy it. Some of the best dialogue in the game comes from this guy. If you come back and listen to what he has to say, absolutely terrific dialogue, perfect for the atmosphere in, in Bloodlines. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I showed you step-by-step -step how to min-max your character. You have to do these steps in order or you will not min-max your character. I had to play this character twice to figure out how to min-max it to the best effect. And um, I hope you found this useful and that you can min-max your own character. And as you see, as you can see in all of these battles, uh, animalism is very powerful. But if you stack on top of that fortitude and now protein, what well, we're, we're about to use, protein 5, it, it's just incredibly powerful. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.